Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. So in today's video, we're going to be covering the last five big stimulus checks going out at the statewide level. And in addition to that, we're also going to be covering why there's actually a pretty big chance for a fourth federal stimulus check to go out maybe later this year or perhaps in early 2024. Now, before I dive into the main content of today's video, if you wouldn't mind helping me out real quickly by just giving this video a like, that just helps out with the good old YouTube algorithm, and also consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already. Okay, so according to The Motley Fool, these are the five states that are finishing up what may be the last round of stimulus checks. So the first state we have up is New Jersey. So state leaders in New Jersey decided to focus on income-based rebates. So by May 23rd, homeowners earning up to $150,000 can expect a stimulus payment of $1,500 and those earning between $150,000 and $250,000 have an extra $1,000 to look forward to. New Jersey renters who earn less than $150,000 annually should receive $450. So New Jersey is the first state out of five that we're going to be covering in today's video. The second state is New Mexico. So by June, single tax filers in New Mexico can expect to receive $500, while married couples, heads of households, and surviving spouses are due $1,000. Households can put those funds towards anything from making a rent payment to building an emergency fund. So the third state we have on today's list is Pennsylvania. So specifically looking to assist low-income Pennsylvanians age 65 and older, widows and widowers age 50 and older, and people with disabilities age 18 and older, Pennsylvania is sending out rebate checks. For homeowners, the annual income limit is $35,000 and for renters, it's $15,000. Half of Social Security is excluded. The standard rebate ranges from $250 to $650, but qualifying homeowners can see their payments boosted to $975. And eligible Pennsylvania residents who have not yet filed for the property tax slash rent rebate program are encouraged to do so on the state's government website. Residents who would rather file a paper application can download a form and related information on the Department of Revenue's website or by calling 888-222-9190. The deadline to apply is on June 30th later this year. Now, I will note here that Pennsylvania actually wanted to send out $2,000 stimulus checks to every resident. Of course, there would be income limits to that. It passed the House, I believe, or I believe it was the governor who was a Democrat who wanted this bill to pass. All the Democrats were on board with passing this bill, but Republicans were saying, whoa, inflation is way too high. Keep in mind, this was November of last year, October, November, when they were trying to get this thing to pass by the end of last year, but they were unable to get it passed through because Republican lawmakers in the Pennsylvania House were unable to get on board with that bill, and they thought that money would be better served going towards something else. Now, the fourth state on our list today is South Carolina. So South Carolina residents who filed their tax returns between October 18th, 2022 and February 15th, 2023 are eligible for a tax refund check of up to $800. The state has not released the date those checks are expected to be released, but I would expect probably by the summer or later on this year. And the last state on our list for today, the fifth one is Virginia. So Virginians with a tax liability from the 2021 tax year and who filed their tax return by November 1st, 2022 are eligible for a one-time rebate payment of $250 for single filers and $500 for joint filers. While those who filed by September 5th have likely received their checks, anyone who filed after that time can expect their funds later this year. Rebate payments may not be enough to take a deluxe vacation but they can help offset the higher cost of groceries. So not a lot of money there in Virginia or quite frankly, any of these states really, but obviously something is better than nothing. Maybe it'll cover groceries for a week or two. But at this time, we're going to cover why there may actually be a fourth stimulus check going out at the federal level, which means that everyone statewide would be included. Of course, there probably would be income restrictions that might be the same as last time. It's say like $125,000 for single filers and less than $250,000 
for joint filers, but it is a real possibility. And according to Fox News, the Fed says a mild recession is in the cards this year. What could that look like? So we're going to be covering why a mild, even a mild recession could spur another round of stimulus payments. So JP Morgan at this time is saying that in an analyst note this week, that even a modest downturn could cause stocks to crater by about 15%. And you know, these politicians in Washington, they're very concerned about the stock market. So if we see a drop in the stock market by 15%, that could obviously you know, spur them to action to try to stimulate the economy, especially if we are in a recession. Last year, we had a very bad stock market. Stocks dropped by about 20%. So if we see a 15% drop, especially after the good start to this year, we could see them spur into action to have some sort of stimulus package. They go on to say that there has also been a wave of notable layoffs over the past few months, and the list grows longer by the day. Amazon, Apple, Meta Platforms, Lyft, Facebook, Google, IBM, and Twitter are among the companies letting workers go. So these are the really big companies who are letting workers go. This is obviously going to kind of spin into other companies as well, small businesses. We're gonna see a lot of layoffs in the coming months, unfortunately. So Fed officials have made it clear that they expect unemployment to climb as a result of higher rates, which could force consumers and businesses to pull back on spending. Job losses are very likely, Fed Chairman Jerome Powell told lawmakers earlier in March. So projections from the central bank's March meetings showed that officials expect unemployment to rise to 4.6% by the end of next year, up from the current rate of 3.5%. That could mean nearly 2 million Americans lose their jobs between now and the end of the year. So basically, the case for a fourth stimulus check. First off, rising unemployment. We're already seeing the big tech companies laying a lot of employees off. This is happening over the past several months. We're gonna see other businesses lay, employee, lay employees off as well. This is very unfortunate. You don't want to see anyone lose their jobs, but it is something that's definitely gonna happen as rates continue to rise. And also, as inflation continues to lower, as it has been, right now it's at 5%, it's very possible that at the end of this year, inflation will dip below 3% and possibly close to that 2% number that the Federal Reserve wants it to be at. So if we see both unemployment rise and we see inflation lower, that could spur the perfect possibility for a fourth round of stimulus payments. Now, of course, we had stimulus checks go out during the 2008 recession. There were more that actually went out in 2009, although that was really just a, a tax credit. And then, of course, we had the three going out during 2020 and 2021, also recession. And last year, we actually were in a recession, although lawmakers in Washington were trying to deny that and change the very uh, definition of a recession, but we were actually in a recession last year, it's very possible that we could be dipping into the second recession in the Biden administration era later on this year or perhaps earlier on next year in 2024. So if that happens, if we dip into a recession, we're seeing the stock market drop and we see unemployment rise and we finally get inflation under control. At that point in time, it's very possible that we could be seeing a forced stimulus check. I would not be surprised at all if they decide to take action on that. But at the end of the day, even if they do approve a fourth stimulus check and it's say it's for say like $1,200, like one of them was back in 2020, that's really not a whole lot of money, especially if you lost your job. $1,200 is not going to make up for a job loss. It's not going to pay for rent. I mean, $1,200 barely covers rent anywhere in the United States. So quite frankly, it's really kind of a joke at this time. It's something that we definitely should not rely upon. Instead, at this time, if you can build up an emergency fund, perhaps take a second or third job, have some type of side hustle, or increase your skills. So right now, if you have a job right now, try to increase your skills. So in that way, maybe you could get a raise at your job, or you could protect yourself from a layoff. So even if your company goes through a lot of layoffs, if you can increase your skills and make yourself more valuable, that'll make it more likely that you can at least stay on with the company you don't get laid off. And perhaps you could even get a raise, which will help yourself financially as well. But that's all the news that we have for today's video. I certainly hope that you enjoyed. If you did, again, I would greatly appreciate if you could give this video a like. Consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already, and I will see you in the next video.